All right, this video here we're going to do is looking at your syllabus. Your syllabus is kind of like your compass that helps you navigate through your course. And so it's really important that when you take your online course that you pay attention to your syllabus and mark things down in your calendar, on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, on your fridge, in your bathroom, whatever it is. Just make sure you keep track of everything because this is one of the things about an online class is that you are responsible for things that get done when they get done. There's no classroom. So what we're going to do is first look at the kind of material that's basic, looking at um, how to contact me. And so please look at your syllabus, jot down the ways to contact me, and make sure that um, when you do the checklist, you use one of these options uh, in contacting me. Now you'll also find my contact information on Blackboard under faculty, faculty information. So you have your syllabus and your Blackboard to help uh, be aware of how to contact me. You also see here what your textbook is. And as you saw in the semester overview, your textbook is available in the bookstore. So please pick it up, you will need it. Now in addition to um, basic contact information, um, this really starts to represent how the syllabus helps you get through the semester. Now what you see on the syllabus that I've provided for you is week by week what content will be covered, what chapter will be covered, what will the pages be, where the videos will be found, and when things will be due. So you'll see where the assignment is due, you'll see where your tests are due, and you're going to see where journals are expected to be completed. Now when you look at the journals, you're going to see them listed in one particular week. They are open for two. There's an open and close date in your syllabus. That's the only time they're open for you to participate in the journal. If you are in week three and it says journal is open, but it's now week four, in order for you to go into the journal and write your entry, you go to week three, that's where the journal will be located. You open it and it will still be open as long as the dates for open and closed are still available. So this is like your map. This is your compass, enabling you to navigate through the course and make sure that you achieve the things that you need to do, what stuff will be available and where it will be. Now you'll find, uh, in addition, on, the second, on this next page here, you'll find all the other information for the rest of the semester. Don't forget, don't show up during reading week. That's your opportunity if you need to get caught up, get ahead, do some extra work, take a bit of a break, do some reading, whatever you choose. All right, so that's your syllabus. Now the last thing on, this, on your syllabus, which is equally important, and you'll see it, I didn't mention it, but on the second page or third page, you'll see there was a section on um, academic policies and procedures. And there's links there for you. So what I'm going to ask you to do is be aware of the issue of plagiarism. It's a serious offense in academic uh, post-secondary education. This page just basically gives you a simple overview, but the links for it are on your syllabus to get information about what it is, what are the penalties for um, uh, plagiarizing, and what is the appeal process. All right, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you'll take advantage of printing and downloading this. This is part of the checklist. And good luck. I hope this has been helpful.